Okay, let's do another class equation for fun. Is it possible to have a complex number raised to a complex power? At the end, we get a real answer. What do you guys think? Be sure you pause this video and give this a try first. Maybe not, because you know this is so classic, right? Alright, so now, let's talk about what is the easiest complex number that we can think of. Of course, we want to be strictly complex, right? So please don't say that say phi is complex because technically phi is the same as phi plus zero i, so it is technically a complex number. So let's deal with the i business, all right? So we know i is the imaginary unit; it is complex, and that will be the easiest one, right? How about let's take a look of what is the following thing, namely i to the i, because i is complex and this i is also just complex, right? Okay, so what is this going to be? Well, we have seen <laughs> when you have the i in the power, but we haven't seen when we have the i in the base and also the i in the power, right? We have to utilize the Euler's formula, right? Mm, in that case, we have to use the e to the i theta somehow. All right, so here, Let's take a look of this i for the base first, right? Let's take a look of this. We need to squeeze out the e, otherwise we cannot utilize the Euler's formula. Remember, e to the i theta is equal to whatever, whatever, right? Hmm. I need to somehow come with the e, this is the i for the base, what can we do? Well, the typical things that we usually do uh, back in the days is, let me just put it down right here, this is my little note. Oops, this is my little note right here. You guys can see it, yeah? Okay, so for example, when we have x, this, sometimes if you want to use e, right, just to squeeze out the e, we can write x as e as the base raised to the ln x power, isn't it? Right? Because e and ln, they'll cancel each other out right away, so this is good. Um, the reason I use x right here is so that that will cause the least amount of argument because I don't want to use z, all right? Anyway, so for this i, I will just plug into this x. So in another word, for the base now, I will look at this i as e to the ln i power like that. This right here is just that i. And then we have this raised to that i power. Okay? And now let me just erase this. Maybe I need more space later on. So this is what we have. And when we have a power to a power, we can just multiply the powers. So now, this is going to be e for the base, and let me put down the i right here first, times ln i, right? So that's pretty good. And now the question is, do we know what ln i is? So I have done this in the previous video, right? One of the previous videos, uh, so you can watch that, but better yet, watch this right here because I'm going to rethink myself in this video I want to make everything right all right so first of all let me just go over this real quick with you guys suppose you're on the complex plane right you have the real axis and the imaginary axis R E and I M I know right I just make a mistake in the previous video but anyway Z is equal to A plus B I let's say Z is right here at this point and you have this picture, you can write it into the complex form. And to do so, be sure you say A is R cosine theta, B is R sine theta. So, Z is equal to A plus BI, and you know A is R cosine theta, B is R sine theta. We can factor out the R, and then this part right here, it is just the E to the I theta. So, that's it, right? This is the polar form of that complex number. And the best part of doing this is that we can then take the ln on both sides. So we get ln z. And then on the right hand side here, we have ln of r times e to the i theta. And we know a product inside of the logarithm is the sum of two logarithms, right? So this is the same as saying ln r plus ln of this. And ln and e cancel, and you have that. So all in all, we have ln z is equal to ln r plus i theta. So this is just a quick run through. Well, the reason I want to show you guys this is so that when z is equal to i, we have to use this formula to figure out what ln i is. So let's do that quickly right here. Okay, 
L N I, and I will do it right here. So L N I. Now the complex number is I. So we look at this is the real and this is the imaginary, and I is right here, right? Because this is one I, and the distance from here to here is one. The angle from here to here is pi over two. So in another word. Ln i is going to be ln one plus i pi over two. The distance is one. The angle theta is pi over two. Right. So that's the complex number. So this is going to be ln r is one. This is the r, and this is the theta. Plus i theta is pi over two. And as usual, we know um, ln one is zero plus i. Pi over two, so on O, L N I is just I times pi over two. That's it. So nothing crazy. This is E, and then we have I. L N I is that. So we multiply by I times pi over two. And now, what is I times I? I times I is I squared, which is negative one. So this right here is just going to be E to the Negative one times pi over two, which is just negative pi over two. No more i. You know this is a real number, so real. Okay. And if you would like, you can use the calculator right here, and you will get a decimal approximation. This is approximately zero point two zero seven eight eight, and so on forever. Okay. If I just start the video right here, this is still going to cause a lot of. Arguments in the comment section because you know, i to the i in fact has a lot of answers, right? So, as I told you, I will redeem myself. I will come back to here and make this all correct, in the sense that to show you guys all the possibilities. In the previous video, I just show you guys one answer, which some of you guys didn't like it. Anyway, so suppose this is the complex number, so still the same picture. This is the angle theta, and we know. We can just keep rotating, right? So, for example, this is theta already. If you would like, you can do like this, and then that. So you have theta plus two pi. And if you would like, you can do it again. So you can have four pi, six pi, and so on. In another word, this picture is the same as when you have theta plus、uh, integer multiple of two pi. So we can write this down as two pi n or two n pi, up to you. So right here, I can tell you, a it's the same as saying r times cosine, but the theta is the same as in here, right? Theta plus two pi n like that. And likewise, this is the same as saying r sine. The theta I can replace that with theta plus two pi n. Okay. And now. Complex number, this right here. I will just plug in this instead of just theta. So we will have, and let me just write it down right here. Z is equal to r cosine theta plus two pi n, and then plus r sine two what、well, theta plus two pi n, and then I like this. Okay. And you see, it's pretty much just like that. And you can factor the r as usual. And you know the no, let's just do it all together. This is cosine theta plus two pi n plus i sine theta plus two pi n. Z is still z, r is still r. Now the input is theta plus two pi n. So. This part right here is e to the i, and the theta, the input right now is theta plus two pi n. Okay. From here, we can take the natural log on both sides, right? L n both sides, and as that one over there, just like that. L n z now this is equal to L n r plus L n this e to the i theta plus two pi n. This and that cancel. So finally, this is the complete version, right? Hopefully, this makes everybody happy. Plus, i times theta. If you would like, you can distribute it right here. This is i theta. 
But you have to do this times that, which is plus two. Uh, depends on which you want to put the i. Doesn't really matter. Let's put the i all the way there. How is that? Well, maybe i all the way in your front. Up to you. So if you want to complete the logarithm right here, this is what you need to have. So you need to you know, just keep adding two pi n i. <laughs> anyway, I know some people are still going to comment, but whatever. So <laughs> right here. Um, L and I, we got, which is this earlier, L and 1 plus I pi over 2. And L and 1 is 0, so this is the answer. But, as you know, you can technically just keep adding I and uh, the integer multiple of 2 pi, right? So, what you could have done is, you can say something like plus, let's say we want the I over the front, 2 pi, suppose n is equal to 1, then this is still correct, right? This is still correct. So, if you would like this right here, it is the same as the following. I can still have e to the i, and for the l and i, I can put down this right here instead, which is i pi over 2 plus 2 pi i like that. And you just do it real quick. This is going to be e to the negative 1, right? i times i is negative 1, so we have negative pi over 2, and that's another negative 1, so minus 2 pi. And you see, you're just pretty much going to be adding pi, I mean 2 pi, 4 pi, subtract 2 pi, subtract 4 and so on. You have a lot of answers for this, right? And you can use a calculator once you get things like that. Anyway, this is the usual answer that you will see, but these are the other answers that you can find. Um, technically, you put down the n right here, and technically, you put down the n right here, and n right here, just to make everybody happy. That's it. This is really cool, right? A complex number raised to a complex number, you have the i raised to the i. At the end, you end up with a real number.